Susie Lou is a hypocrite. She files a false copyright takedown. You want to prove your innocence, you got to show your flag history. One at a why would I care to prove my innocence to a bunch of nobodies on the internet? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Look at the right hand this side. Is not, crawl this, down. this is not a good look, Susie. Wait yeah, a minute, it's all the stuff it. talking about the story! Wait a minute! Yeah, wait! wait. A minute. Susie, no! <laughs> Alright everyone, how's it going? Welcome yourselves back to our currently existing Curtis Price channel. Hope you're all having a good day so far, because today we are going to be stepping into the forbidden territory. A place where fellow council estate members like myself do not belong. And that place is the privileged and self-centred world of Susie Lou. Now let me explain to you who she is. Susie is basically the human equivalent of the demonetization logo if it were to actually exist. Yeah. Let that sink in for a second. When demonetization hits, I usually find myself laying under a shower, drowning in my sores like any other stereotypical sad movie. That yellow symbol makes me feel like freedom of speech criticism. Can't forget about the memes, of course. But also, humor is not allowed on the platform anymore. Well, my friends, that's exactly Susie Lou, A creator with 370,000 subscribers who uploads gaming videos and reacts to anime? I, I, I guess. What the heck? What, what happened? Oh my god! Oh my god. What? Ah, great work, Susie. Five gold stars. Now, everyone's problem with this person is that she has, in fact, been called out for false flagging people's videos, getting them removed from YouTube with next to no insults. This all began when a YouTuber by the name of Mark After Dark uploaded a gaming video on The Last Guardian and intro the video by using a short clip from one of Susie's videos playing the exact same game where she basically broke down and started crying because the, the game was amazing or, or something. No! spend the rest of my life like that. It feels so real. That's not fair. It's not fair. That's made me cry because it was so amazing. Stop it. Get some help. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that was apparently too far for Susie crossing over the line, if you know what I mean. So in result to Mark After Dark's video, she acted by copyright claiming. Oh, wait, sorry. Copyright striking. The video completely off of YouTube. Even though that video falls under fair use. But wait, before we get into that, follow my Twitter, follow my Instagram, and let's start off on a lighter note. You want to prove your innocence, you got to show your flag history. Why, Why would I care to prove my innocence to a bunch of nobodies on the internet? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, Susie Lou. Now, not to worry, everyone, we will get into the deep stuff later on in the video. But I'd first like to mention, she has a Patreon where she makes roughly eight to $10,000 a month. Well, why is that important? Well, maybe this will give you an insight of what sort of person she is. McDonald workers on strike because they want £10 an hour? Go and get an actual decent job and stop expecting handouts. Hashtag McStrike. Ah, oh, isn't that just wonderful, ladies and gentlemen? Susie Lou claims to all McDonald workers that if they want to pay rise, get an actual real job, and don't expect things to be handed to you on a plate. <laughs> Keeping in mind, Susie Lou, the person who gets handed £10,000 every month for doing absolutely nothing, huh, what would you say, yeah? It's almost as if it's getting handed out to her on a plate, but of course, on a silver plate. Now, obviously, she received a fair amount of backlash for this. And how did she respond to this tweet, you might be asking? Perhaps with an apology for not considering other people's situations, or apologizing for being out of touch with reality, or could I be wrong? Oh, that must be what Donald Trump deals with when he tweets. Oh, yes, Susie, comparing yourself to Donald Trump isn't really the smartest decision you've ever made now, is it? Let's keep this in mind, Susie. You are a YouTuber who plays games and reacts to anime. You also get paid $10,000 a month from Patreon for doing apps absolutely nothing. How on earth can you compare yourself to the President of the United States? I just find it really ironic, Susie, how you're telling people at McDonald's to get an actual decent job, when in fact it is an actual job. To put things into perspective, you are a YouTuber, okay? Yes, a YouTuber who is at home making videos. Yes, the exact same thing I do. <laughs> but however, ladies and gentlemen, I don't think it's fair to judge Susie straight off the bat. It's quite possible when she made these tweets, she wasn't thinking clearly. So I think it's only reasonable, you know, if we uh, overlook her entire story. So welcome to the delusion of Susie Lou. Every day I'm shitting and I'm pissing on this hypocrisy. It's that uncontrollable demon they didn't want to see. Oh, right then. Welcome to Command Central, the safest place on earth. <laughs> So I would like to begin by taking a step back quickly and looking over the Mark After Dark video, which was in fact taken down for copyright. 
even though it fell under fair use. Now usually the people in the position of power, aka Susie, are usually not guilty of the criticism that they put on others, as that would be called hypocrisy. Unless of course, you know, just speculating. What if Susie herself is in fact a hypocrite? As we are aware there is in fact something called fair use which allows us to use corporated material and insert it into reaction videos using clips as a fair point of criticism etc. A corporated video can in fact be altered which would still fall under fair use. And that is exactly, ladies and gentlemen, what Mark After Dark's video falls under. But what I do find interesting, Susie, is that, you know, you took Mark After Dark's video down for copyright infringement. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what if I told you Susie's channel had in fact been terminated for the exact same reason? What? The surgeries. I think that would be a... <laughs> Pretty ironic if you ask me. Well, I do in fact hold the UNO reverse card of the decade. In December of 2019, Susie did in fact receive three corporate strikes from a company called TV Tokyo. In result to that, she had her channel terminated for using copyrighted material. <laughs> How ironic. Now, Susie, I, I'm not making fun of you, alright? Don't point the finger, I'm not making fun. <laughs> I would never do that. Now, moving on deeper into it, what did she exactly do? And did she mean to do it? Spoiler it, the answer is yes. She did mean to do it, and she did get caught. Now, what was that corporate material she used? Well, as I mentioned previously, she did in fact upload countless and countless of episodes of her reacting to anime. <clears throat> sorry. Yeah. So, sorry, not reacting. Um, more like uh, sitting silently and watching anime. <laughs> She's very sexy, but very creepy. <laughs> now, the, the, the problem here, Susie, is that this is not a reaction video. You cannot sit there, watch a TV show, and call it a reaction video. You are literally watching copyrighted material, not saying anything, but <gasps> ah! that doesn't fall under fair use, unfortunately. Doesn't cut it. What are you gonna say? But Curtis, if she's using copyrighted material, wouldn't the owner just claim the video so they make all the revenue? Well, my friends, surprise for you all, this is where it gets a little bit more interesting. So each copyrighted video has its own unique content ID number. And once that copyrighted material has been used in a video, it will automatically alert the copyrighted owner and either gives them the option to claim the monetization on that video or the other option, which is strike down the video completely, which means it gets taken off YouTube. But you see, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, Susie was being very sly about the entire thing. What did she do exactly? She, um, <clears throat> well, uh, she, uh, she turned down the opacity on the video so you could barely see the TV show. <laughs> And because she'd done that, the content ID number could not be automatically detected by YouTube. So I do have to ask the question, how credible can that person be if they are vexing others for what they have actually done themselves? And what did she do next? Well, she moved all the episodes over to her $8,000 a month Patreon, and then quickly moved them onto the website before Patreon found out. Very sly indeed, Susie. However, just criticism, no harassment on this channel. Now, as I mentioned, her channel was taken down for this because, you know, a lot of people that saw the content was in fact alerting the anime company and saying that this lady's basically using your content in the video. So the big old anime company responded by completely striking down all the videos, which basically gave her three corporate strikes and then her channel was removed. But it gets even more shocking. The channel was in fact reinstated. Curtis, surely we know this. Once the channel's terminated, it can't come back to life. It's gone forever. Well, yes, that's in fact true. How could this be? How could it possibly be reinstated? Well, this is when the conspiracies begin to arise. Does Susie Lu have an accomplice in the back office of YouTube? This, my friends, is how she responded. The channel is back. All Naruto on private until YouTube and I work out what's going on with the TV Tokyo. And this bot. Thank you for all the love from my supporters. Also, thank you to YouTube for sorting this out as quickly as you have. I know a lot of you were on holiday until next week and you took the time to be there for me. I appreciate you. So, Susie Lu struck someone's video down because they used a 30 second clip of her and altered it. But Susie also just sat there watching an episode of something. I just 
can only imagine how she responded to Mac after dark. I own the copyright to my face, which is what you use without permission. You are clearly desperate to use someone who gets views and help your video to boost lol. Too bad. You still you get striked. Maybe ask a channel for permission before you take their content. We'll save you a headache in the future. Yes, Susie, that's some great advice. I mean, if you probably would have just asked TV Tokyo, could have probably saved you a headache in the future. Also, to claim one's face is copyrighted. No, that's not how that works, unfortunately. Let's be honest, you just thought you had the will to strike someone's video down and you thought it wouldn't receive as much backlash as it did. Well, welcome to YouTube, Susie. That's what happens when you false strike someone. Ah, so here we are. False flagging. Let's talk about that. But actually, before we do talk about that, Curtis, why is there no characters on this video? I don't like to have characters in every single video. You know, we have Dr. Don Valentine, The Arcane of Sin, uh, Mr. Exposed, many other characters. I can't remember them right now. If you want to see more characters in more videos, please tell me in the comment section and we can sort it out. But let's begin. So I'd first like to start with Susie's boyfriend, who is apparently a lawyer. I mean, that's interesting, you know. He's a lawyer. You must know a lot about copyright infringement. And when all this heat did become of Susie, um, he actually uploaded a video defending her and spoke about all the copyright infringement uh, laws and everything that we apparently don't know as a society. Yet in that video, he keeps bringing up the fact that he's a lawyer. So surely he must have an upper hand above all of us. Unless, of course, he's telling a bit of a, you know, through lies here and there. Well, let's find out. Whoa, I don't... Actually, I got this. I am rubber, you are glue. Your college teacher would be so ashamed. I never went to college. Period. Then how do you have a law degree exactly? Oh, I'm a lawyer, I know everything about copyright infringement. Shut your f***ing mouth, man. <laughs> I've never heard of a lawyer that's never went to college before. A lawyer without a degree. How does that work exactly? <laughs> Wanna explain in the comment section? I think it's pretty pointless to even look at her boyfriend's video, considering he explains how many times he's a lawyer, and that's just literally debunked everything. But let's actually talk about false flagging. Let's actually talk about what we're here to talk about. Right, so when it comes to flagging a video, you usually have a valid reason for that flag. Perhaps that reason is bullying harassment? Providing, of course, there is actually bullying harassment in this video, which there clearly isn't. And YouTube has previously mentioned that they take creator on creator hate very seriously. Now, a YouTuber by the name of Gigi Reloaded had in fact made a few videos on Suji criticizing her actions. However, most of his videos are now in fact taken down for bullying and harassment. Hmm, very interesting could have possibly done this. I mean, there's no word of who actually took down these videos. And Susie defended herself over and over and over, claiming that it wasn't her. No, even her lawyer of a boyfriend was defending her. No, that's not harassment or bullying. That's what I'm saying, he's a lawyer. <laughs> I'm such a fucking clown, man, when I'm not scripted. Well, my friends, that's exactly when RFC After Hours had a live stream where they discovered this. Oh, no. Yeah, we, can, we can't, we can't and have to oh, oh, scroll. You can scroll down, too. Like, where's the scroll? Oh, my. Wait, wait, wait. Look Ooh, on the right hand side, not, you can scroll this, down. This is not a good this look, Susie. Wait yeah, a minute, it's all the it. stuff talking about the story! Wait a minute! Uh, yeah, wait, wait a minute! Susie, no! Me, my dear Christ. Turns out there was Susie after all. Imagine being so in denial for an entire year, claiming that you didn't take down someone's videos for critiquing you, and then you'd actually find out that it was you after all. I mean, if it was me in that position, I would have probably shit my pants by now, but. The false flagging doesn't actually stop there. A YouTuber by the name of Tipster, who has in fact uploaded a few live streams where he had a lawyer on discussing copyright claiming. Discussing the contents of fair use, so what and so what and so what on. And when I said lawyer, I mean a real lawyer now, you know, a real one. But suddenly, of course, these these live streams have in fact been taken down from Tipster's channel. How is that possible? Who could have done this? Was it perhaps Susie Lou? Well, after being in denial about that as well, she finally admitted it in a tweet. <laughs> what is going on? That's not what my tweet said. I've reported many videos on YouTube. Not every video comes down. They all get looked at by YouTube and they decide if it's broke TOS or not. So did you report Tipster? Just an honest question. Did you report three of his videos? I reported his channel a long time ago. He had created a ton of videos on me full of completely false information. YouTube are aware of his channel and many others who try to put the boundaries of what is acceptable on this site. Now you see my problem with this specific tweet is that she tries to make it seem as if YouTube is against all of our commentary channels, which in some cases they are. But I feel for some reason Susie's trying to use that as an element to push us into silence. Now, what do I mean by into silence? Well, I mean by no one calling out for her mistakes. And that is, of course, what commentary channels are all about. I just find it quite humorous, Susie. 
how YouTube's aware of all of our channels, but you keep false flagging everyone. I mean, surely they're aware of you as well. And one more point quickly. A YouTuber by the name of John Swan uploaded a video um, measuring the size of Susie Lou's. So John Swan uploaded a video which was very humorous. It wasn't meant to be offensive anyway. It wasn't meant to upset anyone. It was pure for the banter to make people laugh. And I gotta say, John Swan, that was a great video. But of course, that video was also taken down as well. And this is what Susie Lou had to say about it. Imagine doing a video dedicated on slamming someone's appearance and then crying when YouTube takes it down for violating their terms. Imagine, smiley face. My goodness, Susie. You really do think highly of yourself, don't you? And that was Susie Lou's response to John Swan. She's acting a bit, you know, you know, this is criticism here. Acting slightly cocky, should we say. Even though you were the one abusing the system. John Swan probably didn't do anything wrong. He made a humorous video. And now you decide to abuse YouTube systems to take someone's video down for harassment and bullying when it was not that to begin with. I have to say, Susie. Well done to you. You're doing great so far. I'm sure everyone loves your content. Your anime content, to be exact. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of today's video. I never do an outro on a video, so don't click off just yet. So if you're not aware, most of my videos actually get demonetized on YouTube, which means I only make one-tenth of the amount of money I should be making. So my response to YouTube's demonetization system would be to start a channel membership. Yes! The channel membership is basically on my channel right now. You just click that little join button right there and you sign up and pay $4.99 a month. Now, I promise you, you have no idea how much this is literally going to help me on a genuine note. Um, I don't get paid that much from YouTube. So if you guys actually were to do that, I mean, you obviously, you know, you have a choice. You don't have to. But if you guys were to actually do that, it would really mean the world to me. And it really supports the channel and myself, like, you know, in daily life. So thank you so much. But, but let's talk about what you get in return. You get to watch my videos an entire day early before the rest of the world. Meaning if I upload 9pm on a Wednesday, you can watch it at 9pm on a Tuesday. But yes, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new to the channel and get me to 100k by my 7th of June birthday. <laughs> I'll see you all in the next video. You mad bro? Uh, yeah.